guys, Freddy here. Welcome back to a thing, because this time I'd like to show off this, which is Canvas of Kings. Now this is map making software for Dungeons and Dragons, other role playing games. Now I found it on Steam, I was introduced to it through social media because the author of it put up some images he'd created, some maps, and I thought they looked really, really good. And I decided to support it back then when it was in early access. I'm not sure if it's come out of that yet, but it is now a fully featured piece of software. The place the software came from is actually pretty interesting because the author was creating a game and wanted to create a map creator for his game. And this is what he came up with. So even though his game's not come out yet, people are using this for their Dungeons and Dragons, other role playing campaigns. And it's amazingly fully featured and easy to use. Now, my skill set is really, really low. I will not be showing it off well here, but. I'll go into some sample, I'll just play around with it, and then I'm going to load in a bunch of maps. Because one of the really strong features of this is it hooks into the Steam Workshop, where people have uploaded their maps, and some of them are absolutely stunning. So, first of all, we've got the menu down the side here, and you've got some pretty simple stuff. So, we can put some trees. As you can see, it randomizes them. But we can rotate them, we can grow them, we can shrink them, we can manipulate them however we want. And that goes for, we've got bushes and stones, uh, branches, market stalls. You can see it flicking through the different types there. Um, a straw house, a tavern. So let's put a tavern there. We can zoom out the map, we can rotate things. So we can put another one on if we want, um, make it absolutely massive, so we can sort of merge them together. Um, as we can see, as we zoom out, if I click onto something smaller, we can see that all the chimneys let out smoke, all the windows glow. So you can manipulate the map by lightning and darkening it, we'll come to settings in a bit, to make it nighttime. So all you'll be able to see is what's illuminated by campfires, what's illuminated by windows. But we've got so many options here. We've got a hand cart, uh, round towers, large round towers, um, tables. We've got items for inside rooms. We go to the next one down and we can set up areas. Um, so let's create a path from, we'll say, a door is here, creating it up. Zoom out, um, the path leads off in that direction. There we go, we've got a sort of circular path there. Um, can set up small walls. So there's a wall around it. Um, can create a wall with guard towers. Uh, wooden roofs. We've got stone bridges over rivers. We can create areas of things. So let's mark out this area behind it. And that's a field with different plants in it. We can set up an area with cottages, logging camps. We can set up a lake. So let's put in an area. It's not going to look great because it's going to be very... Um, polygonal. I'm not curving out areas here. It looks very, um, if I put in much more points, it'd be rounded and look better. You can create a sea, ground with grass. Next down, we can set individual rooms. So, excuse me. Oh, I was creating it far too big there. We can rotate it. stretch it out, and it populates the room. So that was a bedroom. We can create other rooms, kitchens, bar rooms, chapels. And of course, we had all the furniture in that if we want to individually place it or if we want to individually delete stuff. So let's get rid of that. And we don't actually like that, so we'll delete it. Really, really cool to use. Um, decoration tool. We've got here to set up the light factors, you know, how bright we want it to be, ambient light, shadows, we can move them around, um, what length they are. 
the opacity of the shadows, what the color water is. And we've got a tab here for weather, so we can add wind, we can add clouds moving overhead, um, fog. We can add a layer of snow to everything. And as you can see, it's relatively easy to come up with a small battle map. You know, you want to put some buildings around, create a street or whatever. You can create ma battle maps in very few seconds indeed. But the power of the software goes beyond that, because obviously I'm only decorating a tiny bit of the map that's available. If we go into the Steam Workshop op uh, option up here and browse maps, we can see there's different maps people have uploaded. Going down to the bottom, we can see there's 12 pages of these, and there's, what, 20, 30 maps on there? So many hundreds of maps that people have uploaded. And these go from very simple ones. So we've got a small trading harbour here. So if you want a fight on a dockside, we've got a map here. Uh, going back. Um, mega Dungeon. Now some of these take a little longer to render. So this is taking a moment to draw in all the rooms, all the bits of furniture. Um, it's informing me that there's various missing um, assets, but I can subscribe and install them all easily just by clicking one button. But you can see it's a dungeon map. All furniture in individual rooms. Um, we can scroll around it. We can zoom out. We can zoom in. We can change all these things. If I want to click on items, I can delete them. I can add new ones from the objects. But where we're really getting to the power is, let's go for Big City. This will take a few moments to download and install. We're downloading. It's successfully downloaded. And now it's drawing out everything. That's a point when you load a map. It recreates it the way you added everything in. So we are seeing the map slowly populate. Every tree that they put in, every road, every building. But you can see how detailed it is already. Um, and there we go. So it's a port. There's a bridge there, some lock gates leading into the center with a castle. There's a town outside the castle walls. Lovely, lovely stuff. And some amazing ones. This one which is set in like a crater. A smuggler's hideout, a small nighttime. The brother of Rome, so it's got like a coliseum and things. Can I load that one? It's quite large. It will take a long time. And we watch it render out. But this is a fascinating piece of software. As I said, I got into it quite early, and I've used it several times to create small skirmish maps. However, my players are fighting out in a city street, so I'm just setting up buildings on either side, either side, some wagons and things in the street. It creates the scene. If we're in the forest and it's a forest clearing, but a bunch of trees around it, if it's a small village, we are plotting out where the buildings are, the paths between it, where the town well is, etc. Or if you're going to something this size, as you can see, it's drawing in hundreds of buildings here. This really is going to take a while. Um, I probably shouldn't have chosen something as detailed as this. But as you can see, it does take a while to render them out. Um, but you can scale from such small things. Doing indoors, so if you're doing a village map, you don't have to just have the huts. You can have the rooms within the buildings as well and lay it out that way. Or if you're doing a full dungeon, you can lay out the rooms and the corridors between them. Or if you're doing a city, you can do something on such a large scale as this. It's still populating everything. It's putting in trees now to decorate uh, the streets. Uh, they've obviously laid out the bulk of it. Wow, even this uh, hemispheric uh, coliseum-type thing. Now look at the detail. It's being a bit slow, uh, I'm obviously running recording software at the same time. But that map is gorgeous, and it's free to download. Um, oh yeah, that Colosseum. Individual people in the crowd. Uh, streets with people wandering around. So, so detailed. 
absolutely fantastic. And you see the scale as we go across here. We're still relatively high up, but it's just massive. Um, I am so impressed with this software. As I said, I bought into it quite early, and I've already had my money's worth out of it several times because it's just so easy to throw things together. And I am not using half the features, which people obviously are. It's an amazing piece of software, and I just wanted to share it with you. Anyway, as usual, I think I've been wittering on for quite long enough as usual. So thank you very much for watching. As always, most of all, you look after yourselves. And I'll catch you later. Bye now.